So some of you have been asking what sort of brushes I use for digital painting. Well, let's find out. Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I create videos on my art and I tell you my tips and tricks as a professional artist. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Before we get started, let's understand the types of brushes that are there. For me, the three main types of brushes that I depend on are the hard edge brushes, the soft edge brushes, and the tapering edge brushes. The tapering edge brushes usually works with a graphic pen tablet, and it gives you the feel of drawing with a pencil or a brush in real life. So if you have seen, so if you have seen some of my videos before, in one of the videos, I would have explained my digital painting process, where I explained my start to finish process of a digital painting. I use a variety of brushes for each of these steps. Today, I'll be working on this piece, and I'll explain you what sort of brushes I use for each step and at the end of the video I'll explain where you can get these brushes and how you can download it so for the first step of my digital painting which is inking for this process I use two kinds of brushes the first one is the cartoonist rough edge by using this brush this gives the look of the classic rough edge outline and it resembles something close to what you draw on a paper by using this my finished piece looks natural and and it gives a good vibe to it so that's kind of the main reason I use this brush for some of the projects I am expected to have a clean and clear outline for projects like those I use this brush which gives you a clean crisp outline and both of these brushes are sensitive to pressure so based on how much pressure you apply on your tablet it gives you a tapered edge so the next step of my digital painting process is color blocking for this step I usually don't use any brushes and since all of these empty spaces needs to be filled in with a color I usually use this paint bucket tool and select my color and just fill them in if for some instances I'm having to use a brush I use go with the same brush I use for inking except I make it a lot bigger so the next step is highlights and shadows so based on the type of project I usually use a variety of brushes the type of projects that I usually work are comic based projects illustrations and color testing work which usually will get converted to a painting to get a soft edge I usually use this brush with the opacity turned on this brush gives a painted texture to your work and I usually like the textured effect of how some of my work are so I try to stick to that and if you have seen some of my previous videos I love painting and the textures that come out of it textures like these create interest to your pieces and keeps your artwork from being boring so to create such an effect this brush is highly useful and since it has the ability to use opacity to it based on the pressure sensitivity it gives you the option of how much paint I need to apply on it based on how light and thick I want I vary my pressure to it to get the desired output if I need to use hard-edged brushes for light and shadows I sometimes work with this brush which is a halftone brush it doesn't have any soft edge but based on the pressure of your pen tablet it varies the thickness of the lines which when zoomed out looks like a gradient and for the background I usually stick with a combination of all the brushes I mentioned before but if the page needs to focus just on the subject and their emotions I usually use this brush for the background which is a cross hatching brush and based on the pressure can vary it in the background and give a mild gradient effect so these are almost all the brushes I use for all of my work when it comes to digital painting. Now for the final reveal on where you can get this. If you're using Photoshop CC, all you have to do is right click, click on get more brushes and it automatically opens this page on your browser. All the brushes I mentioned come under these two packs, which is the manga brush pack and the mega pack. You can download these and load them into your brush settings and there you have it. These are all the brushes I use, sometimes based on the inspiration I get from I try to experiment with other brushes as you can see there are literally hundreds of brushes in this But if I'm on a deadline I usually don't like to experiment and like to know what I'm working with So I try to stick to these and try to get the output that my clients want I hope you found this video useful and I'd like you to try my process into your own work And let's find out if it works for you too If you do be sure to tag me on Instagram I'll have a look at it and give you my feedback As always thank you for watching see you in the next one